All right, I got Captain Justin Bowles with me today. It's hard plastic day. We're looking for big speckle trout. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, Justin and I are fishing on the edge of the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet. That's the big Chalmette wall in the distance. This area has not been good this year, but it just feels right to come in here and throw some hard plastic baits and catch some big speckle trout. Now I'm throwing a Miralor Miradine. Justin's throwing a Softdine, very similar bait, just soft. You want to get up close to that shore or what? You like this? Water in the MRG is 54, up in this flat it's 51. It might be on that on that edge. Pretty sunrise. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fish. Not the big one we were hoping for. Might be a bass. Yep. Baby bass. Can't get, away from the bass. Can't get away from the bass. That'd be nice. Be a good fish for pictures, for video. Dude, I'd settle for a dozen. I'd settle for five or six today. It'd be fine. I'm not expecting to waylay them. Is that what happened? Really? Bob Saget. You ever hear any of his stand up? No, but I want to go watch. Profane. Really? Oh, there's a fish. Is that another bass? Yes, it is. That's a better bass. On the Miradine. Not the target species, but still fun. They hit it hard. Oh, yeah. That one did. First one did. 53 degree water now, getting closer to the channel. No bait at all. Uh -uh. Nope, no bait. Get him, Justine. Feel trouty? Can't tell. He hasn't come up at all. Could be a nice trout. What the heck you got? Trout, nice trout. There you go. You need a net? It's a power ball. It's a start. Or maybe what, a 15 inch fish? Yeah. On the soft knee. We'll hold this here a minute. See if it was a fluke. That fish didn't come up at all. Kind of weird. Water's now 56. What a difference. In the back of that cove. Shoot. He was kind of close to the boat, huh? Oh, shoot. Oh, dude, I got smacked. Dude, they're liking the softine. Another trout that has not come up. Feel about the same size? Smaller. Yep, that's a skinny fish, man. <laughs> Poor thing was starving. There he is. That one came up. He's got an opinion. He's definitely got an opinion. I don't think he's a giant, but... Come on, swing around. All right. About the same size as the first one you caught. Dude, I remember last year, I mean, I only fished here, I think, twice on this flat, but both times I tried a popping cork, couldn't get a bite. Did you catch them here on a cork? Did you? 
it seems like it would definitely be the more efficient way to fish them, particularly if the fish are this size. Get him, Justin. Nice. Feel better? Not really. Not really. Maybe a little bit. He's got an opinion. All right, skinny but long. Just nice to catch a few trout, particularly on hard plastics. Well, I guess you're throwing a soft plastic. Is the sink rate on a softine similar to a miradine? I think it's a little slower. It's a little slower. Set it in the water, look. Pretty similar. Man, Justin's putting on a clinic. That's a better fish. Yeah, I, I'll keep him. He's a little smaller than that last one. Yeah, you get a look at that softine. Looks very similar to the bait I'm throwing. It does have some flake on the side. Now, the, the logic with the softine is that it, you know, feels soft when that fish hits it, so he's less less inclined to spit it. I do have a soft thing, I think, but I suspect it's more how you're fishing it. Skill of the angler, you think? All right, certainly, no doubt. Seems I'm definitely fishing faster than you. Hey, little fish. Feels like a gorilla. I mean, this fish is, I might mount this one. Nice Thank you, man. Always good when you come out, throw for big trout on suspending bait. Yep, and somebody breaks out a cork. There's a fish. He clobbered it when it was sitting still. He's not big, but he's not bad. Yeah, I think our next stop has to be the rock somewhere just to see if we can get a big one. All right, so Justin and I could sit here and pick away at these smaller trout, but we really want to see if we can find something bigger, particularly on such a beautiful day. We've got maybe five knot northeast winds at most we're gonna go hit the rocks real close to here and see if we can find a big fish throwing some nice size jerk baits just passed over a ton of bait what you got justine biggin looks like it all right it's a good trout biggest of the day for sure how close to the rocks was he? Dude, the water ain't that great. It's not bad, but it's not that beautiful MRGO water that you're kind of used to seeing. Oh, there he is. Big fish, huh? That's a big fish. That might be a red. If that's a trout, it's, it's a really good trout. I'm not sure what I got here. It's acting really weird. It might be a red, might be a foul hook trout. I don't know what this is. I'm thinking redfish. I really think red. No, it's not a trout. That is definitely not a trout. Although I did catch a giant trout in here once that I would have bet my life was a red. It's not foul hook because he's definitely shaking his head. I just want to see him. He's going to swim again no matter what he is. I just want to see him. Got to be a big red. But you never know, right? I don't catch too many reds on these rocks. It's a big blue cat. I don't think it's a blue cat. I think it's either a, a red or a big trout, but I think it's a red. If I knew for sure he's a red, I'd horse him, but no way. I think he's a big foul hook trout. But yeah, I don't think he's foul. You see, you see a head shake? Yeah. It could be a trout. It's a monster trout. I get half of it. Okay. You can have all of it. I don't care. I just want to touch him. No trout has ever had this much stamina. Yeah, if this is a trout, he will be in the record books. <laughs> There's no chance. 
Oh, big red. Big bull red. What kind of leader you have? This is a 12 pound leader. All right, that's a beast. That's a pig. Oh, we got your bait back, Justin. You know, here in Louisiana, we're all speckled trout crazy, but this is a world-class fish. People from other states just can't comprehend. We catch these in the wintertime, not even targeting these fish. Just a beautiful, beautiful redfish. Let's try and revive him. All right, there you go. Good boy. All right, Justin and I gave up on those jerkbait fish on the rocks. He caught a trout, I caught a red. We had a couple other bites, but not enough to keep us there. So we've come back into the marsh just to see what we can catch here. Fortunately, the water back here is absolutely spectacular. Really, really pretty. We're at the end of a falling tide. And as you can tell, it's slick. It's just a beautiful day. Hardly any wind. So we should find some fish in these marshes. So I'm throwing a New Year's Eve H&H &H Cockahoe. Love this bait this time of year when it's cloudy. Justin is currently relieving himself, but soon he'll be throwing an SP57 that I was kind enough to loan him. Yeah, I twitch it. I don't, I don't just crank it so it doesn't get nearly as deep for me. There he is. There's the first fish back in the marsh. What are you? Big bass, big bass. All right. That's a New Year's Eve. Keep trying, son. You're wrapped up, see you later. All right, Justin and I spent too much time trout fishing, waited too long and this tide is completely petered out. And there are a few things I hate more in marsh fishing than a dead tide. So we're gonna hang it up, call it a day, a successful day. We didn't catch a giant trout, but we caught a good number of them, a really fun way to target them with hard plastic baits. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Justin's so bored he's on his phone.